last time on Danganronpa 2. Your voice is too soft. Hold it right there, your voice is too soft. Let your voice rise from the bottom of your stomach. Ah! I was roommates with that kid in college. Except it wasn't Babyface, it was something else. Please don't come after me. <laughs> Please don't come after me, Lee. Excuse me, Miss Sonia. My loins are full of poison and I'd appreciate it if you could suck it out with your mouth. No way anyone would be so sad this is go swimming in a situation like this. Huh? <laughs> eh? That's right! Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. With weather this night, there's no way I'm gonna pass on swimming. I agree. <laughs> Even my loins agree, see? With Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair, aka Electric Boogaloo, aka Who the hell are all these people? Alright. Seriously? Don't try to understand. Hey, hey! How long has it been since the last I swam in the sea? Alright, let's go change! Those of us who were excited to go swimming went to get their swimsuits for Musami and ran straight to the hotel to change. Hey. So, uh, what are you gonna do, hey, Hajime? Hajime. I understand how you feel, and I won't force you to do anything you don't want to do, but <laughs> if you feel up for it, I'd be happy if you came along, too. After he said that, Nagito ran over the hotel as well. There's no danger on this island. Nothing tragic waiting to happen on this item. Is that really true? So, am I actually wrong? Hmm. Oh, hey, Cartman. So yeah, we got fun, I guess. I don't know. We just, uh, people are crazy. <sighs> Twenty minutes later. Bukaki. Not possible. Okay, nah. That's enough. I've heard dumb thing that makes us friends or anything. The reason couldn't be more different. Different reasons? Oh, it's because you're uh big boned? <laughs> You can't accept that situation because you're nothing but a coward, right? Coward? What? That you sent me thing is not lying to us. You starting to realize that, aren't you? Then why aren't you gonna swim? <laughs> something don't like ocean water. It's too saucy. Not something to boast about. Little kids say the same thing when they don't want to swim. Little brat. What's up? You're not gonna swim? Sleepy. Hmm. Like really, really sleepy right now. I see. It'd be a fall problem if you fell asleep while you're swimming. I'd probably drown. <laughs> ah, yes, drowning. That's not good. Nobody wants you to drown. Or like, definitely drown. Be sleepy in a situation like this, she sure got some bold nerves. Or a lack of caffeination. Don't talk to me. Swimming blows, but talking to you is even more annoying. Mind your own fucking business. 
And he's so blunt. <laughs> Speaking of which, everyone's returned. As a sim, as bleh, Usami said that, I turned around and saw a group of people wearing swimsuits jumping into the ocean and shouting with joy. Ah, and the creepy chef is just there. Yay, the sea! Ah, the water is so cool. It feels great. Oh, ugh, too salty. This water's too salty. It's not going easy on me. Hey, I got some suntan lotion from the supermarket. Would anyone like a rub down? Oh, you're quite considerate. Now then, will you apply it right away? Mr. Speedo with the big balls. <laughs> Rubbing lotion on a muscular man. I've never thought of that. All right, no problem. My tastes are pretty open, you know. Oh my. You seem a little too open. Like you're covering too many bases by yourself. Ouch! Burn! <laughs> I'll make sure to slather you with lots and lots of oil. What is this feeling of intense bloodlust? Feels like a resort. There's no other way to describe it. Seeing the other students having all this fun, I... <laughs> yep, yep, I'm very happy. Everyone seems to be getting along with each other, so I'm very happy. I thought this would be hard until everyone got used to this, but they're all acting like ultimates. Ding, ding, ding. Let's up, keep the pace, and do my best to peacefully enjoy this heart-throbbing school trip. This feeling of alienation, I can't really put it into words. Am I really wrong about all this? Fine. I just gotta do it, right? I'll do it. I'll do it! Huh? Jimmy, did something happen? Hey, hand me one of those swimsuits. I really can't believe I was the only one worrying. I feel like an idiot. I don't care anymore. I'm gonna go for it. I seriously enjoy myself and have some fun. Hey, you guys! Don't forget about me! Hey, hey, wait for me! Let me join in the fun! Wait, huh? Suddenly, the sky grew cloudy. Huh? What is this? What's happening? These strange clouds, that didn't look, that didn't look at natural at all. Huh? Oh, uh, what's going on? What did you do? This obviously isn't right. Just sunny a few minutes ago. Hey! What is this? Huh? I didn't do anything! What is all this? There's no way something like this shouldn't be happening. And at that exact moment, just when it seemed like it couldn't get more confusing, it suddenly happened. Ah, uh, ah, uh, mic check, mic check. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, oh. That voice was so laid back and so gleeful that it seemed out of place. But it was different than Usami's. As if an endless storm of malice could be felt raging behind that laid back voice. That moment I felt it, my body shuddered. <laughs> surprised? You were totally surprised! Bear! Right? Now then, sorry to keep you all waiting for so long. Let's leave all this worthless entertainment behind. It's time for the main attraction. You guys better hustle over to Jabberwock Park. Could, could it be? This voice? If this is, oh, this is very bad. I gotta do something. I won't let you. It's all up to me. Hey, wait. Very strange. See that? Was in unusual terms. Hmm. 
It's best if we go too, right? Jabberwock Park, is it? Let's hurry. Hey! Hey, wait! What about everyone who's swimming? Naturally. No time to wait for them to change. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll head over first. Shit. Just what the hell is going on? I'll be really pissed if it's something fucking stupid. What is this? What the hell is going on? Ah, Jabberwock Park. Okay. Oh, it's a little homicidal maniac. Aww. Ooh. There's just too many Mr. Krabs. Hi. Fine, I'll just step on them later. You're fucking psycho. Yeah, crabs better run while you still can. Fucking horrible. I'm Jabberwock Bid. We arrived at Jabberwock Park. Tommy's shouting voice can be heard throughout the park. I won't let you. Where are you? Where are you hiding? I don't know. Where are you hiding? Hiding? Who are you talking to? <laughs> huh? Hey, hey. Where are you? Show yourself. <laughs> oh, hey. What's up, Monokuma? time no see guys i am monokuma i'm the headmaster of this academy monokuma appears <clears throat> now that i've made my dashing appearance the first thing i need to say is lame it's so freaking lame lame i say lamer than the name is lame sauce <laughs> oh wait lame sauce is that tasty? Hey, hey! Just as I thought, it was you! But how? Why is Monokuma here? Monokuma? Silence! Ah, shut up! Hey! Um... I'm living, you know! And I'm about ready to barf thanks to your lukewarm attitude! Just what's with this heart throbbing school trip crap, anyways? I'm bored, so hopelessly bored. Hey! It's just ain't fun at all. You better knock off this farce right now. What are you thinking? Gotta make this, you know, meet the demands of the world. Nobody wants to see high school students living calm and peaceful lives. What everyone wants to see is <laughs> other people's misery and despair. You. What the hell is with this stuffed animal? Nothing he says is making any goddamn sense. What? Yeah, what's going on? What is it? I won't let you. Be careful, everyone. Stand back and leave this to me. I don't know why Monokuma is here, but as long as we have this magic stick. Yeah! Hi -ya! Hi -ya! Um. Then, what to do after my flawless victory? First of all, you're too plain. White rabbits are far too plain. So, I'm gonna make you in my image. <laughs> this is what happens when you defy me. I'll crunch ya, I'll bite ya, I'll rip you apart. <laughs> Stick isn't gonna shove itself in, you know? No! That's a no no! That's a big no no! Ta da! All done! What? What is this? <laughs> 
No! I'm not supposed to look weird like this. Change me back to normal. What's this? My, my. Defying your big brother's fashion sense? Is Monomi a little troublemaker? Hey! Big brother? Monomi? My little sister! Your current position is too wishy-washy, so I'm sending you to be my little sister. Monomi! <laughs> Though it's only an external setting, after all. Hey! Why do I have to be your little sister? Well, what? Big sister, then? You want to be the only sister that gets separated at birth? I don't like this. It doesn't really feel right. Yeah, you're definitely more like a little sister. Oh, me, That's how brother. it's gonna be, Monomi. From now on, if you ever disappoint me, I'll never forgive you. Oh, what? <laughs> Even the display changes to Monomi. I won't forgive you. I won't let you make up your own settings. <laughs> Stupid fool. Do you think you can win against me? No! It hurts a lot when you punch me. <laughs> How about that? Now you've learned your lesson? What the fuck is this? Living stuffed animals fighting each other, that's like completely insane. <laughs> if only I had still had magic stick, I could have totally beaten that awful Monokuma. <laughs> <laughs> it's just your fault for leaving yourself open. Even a one-second opening is life-threatening on a battlefield. Hey, hey. Hey, what's up with this stupid performance? Huh? Who frickin' knows? Mm. But it's obvious something bad is happening. Huh? Well, what is this? What's going on? <laughs> mm. huh? Now she's all weird-looking. Weird looking. She matches me now, you know. How insensitive. What the? There's more of them? Oh what shit. Did you say? What does this mean? Is. What is that black and white tanuki? Bear it! I'm not a tanuki. I'm a bear. I'm Monokuma. What's going on? I don't understand it myself, but a new stuffed animal appeared. Why, yes, a new stuffed animal appeared. Monokuma! I mean, why is that stuffed animal even talking? Damn it! Seriously, I'm not a stuffed animal. I'm Monokuma! I'm the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. This is Monokuma. Huh? Did you say headmaster? Anyway. Regardless, appears everyone is gathered. Now then, as headmaster, I shall make a formal declaration. Yeah. From this point on, the killing school trip will now commence. Killing school trip. <laughs> a school trip where everyone gets along is no stimulation at all. And it's so damn boring. Nobody wants to play a game like that. Hey! Hey. You guys agree with me, right? Thank you for waiting. So, let's begin our killing school trip. Do your Naturally, things. you guys are the contestants. You're kidding, right? Killing contestants? I won't forgive you. What are you saying? I will abs absolutely positively not allow such bloody events. Yeah. Oh, it hurts a lot when you kick me, too. Monami's such a dumb child. Really? Geez, your brain sure is tiny, Monami. How many times do I have to tell you? Pay attention this time. Except in manga, a little sister is never smarter than a big br brother. <laughs> Allow me to explain! Now then, we got off topic for a while, so let's go back to the explanation of the killing school trip. <laughs> what do you mean, killing school trip? What are you saying? 
Isn't it obvious you guys are gonna kill each other? Well... Kill each other, I see. Are you kidding me? Kill each other? <laughs> no way, no way, no way! What do you say? That's impossible. No. Well, don't you think it's kind of lame and boring that you can't leave the island unless you all get along? So I'm changing the rules. Yeah! You want off this island, then please kill one of your friends. And then make it through the class trial without getting caught. <gasps> class trial? That's right! The class trial is real charm of this killing school trip. Allow me to explain! If one of you gets murdered, the surviving members must participate in the class trial. At the class trial, there will be a showdown between the blackened killer and the other spotless students. During the trial, you'll be present. You'll present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. The outcome will be decided by popular vote, and if you arrive at the correct answer, only the blackened killer will be punished. The rest may continue their school trip. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you shall re receive your punishment. As far as the Clash of Trials rules go, that's all there is to it. In other words, if you kill someone and make it through the Clash Trial, you get to leave, live and leave this island. If you find guilty, you'll get punished. <laughs> it's a familiar but simple rule, right? What the heck? You keep repeating the word punish over and over. What's the deal with that? Hmm. Basically, it's an execution. You know, bang bang, put that, chop chop. Bzz. That is. Execution? The pleasing punishment that follows the class trial. <laughs> this is one of the perks of the killing school trip. <laughs> what sort of spine-tingling punishments will we see? I can't help it! I'm already getting excited! There may even be some unique punishments, like impaling you through the head with a thingamajig claw! Hmm... <laughs> Any method of killing is fine. Popular ones like bludgeoning, stabbing, strangling, and poisoning. The shooting, beating, running over, burning, bombing, slashing, drowning, ex electrocution, crushing, cursing. Ching! Please choose whichever killing method you prefer. A killing curse, you say? Time limit so you can kill as you please. It's an all you can murder buffet, a theme park of murder. That's, That's awesome what the killing school trip is all about. I clutch my chest without realizing it. With each beat of my heart, a sharp stabbing pain tours through my body. Oh shit, I've been stabbed. I didn't understand what was happening to me. Damn it. Don't fuck with me. That's right. Who on earth would kill someone? No way. I'm not ordering anyone to kill. Whether or not you kill someone is entirely up to you. No, no. But be careful. Youth doesn't last forever. It'll be too late for you guys if you guys wait till you're in your 40s to start killing each other. I won't believe. I won't believe. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. What's going on? Yeah, that... They definitely, uh... We're going for a Maxine Caulfield with this lady. What if nobody ever gets murdered? Does that mean that we'll never leave this island? Who knows? Anyway... I'd like for you all to go through with this killing school trip in a healthy and positive manner. What's going on? Wait just a minute. Why do we have to do this? What's this? Well, it's obvious. There's a reason you all need to kill each other. Eh? Hold on. Hold on. You've been running your mouth for quite some time now. I have no idea. I don't want to get violent, but if I do, I have no idea what might happen. I'm gonna do it! Wow. 
Oops, Mackenzie just went Super Saiyan without the Saiyan. What? A fight? Do I need to beat the crap out of the black and white bear? Let's go. Who would dare try kill? I'll put a stop to it with force if necessary. Why you? You keep saying stupid stuff. The athletes in our group are going to lose their patience. Fine, fine. Is that so? Well, I guess I expected this reaction. <laughs> you guys want to do things by force, and I'll have to fight back with a little force of my own. Hey! Force? What are you going to do? Search. Oh, gods. Who dwell between the light and darkness. In accordance with our contract, I summon ye now. Come forth, mana beasts. Oh, fuck. What? Um... Fuck. Seen a lot of strange and surprising things since I first arrived at this island. Still, the phenomenon taking place in front of me was blatantly out of this world. <gasps> yeah? What is this? Why did the statue move? Wrong! That's no statue, they're mana beasts! Ah! Ma monster! Oh shit, okay, so... Maybe this guy's gonna be my. Oh my god, I'm Scoop! I'm Shaggy! Hey! I just said they're mana beasts! Strange thing about the genuine surprise is that when it happens, your voice won't let you express it. And I was forced to accept that. That appearance of a monster might be normal in anime or video games. Stop it, Matrix! That's precisely why I couldn't grasp the reality of this situation. Couldn't even feel fear. All I could do is stand aghast. No! This cannot be. This is just too weird. Don't tell me. Am I having a nightmare or something? <laughs> yeah! A nightmare, he says. He just admitted his brain is a total flower patch. Unbelievable. Jeez, you guys are a skeptical bunch. Something doesn't fit with your narrow notions of common sense. You just deny it outright. How stupid ignorant cavemen are better than you all. I don't like this. But finding events according to their genre is a disease of the modern age. Everyone. Please stay back. I will protect everyone. I can't lose. Even at the cost of my own life, I will protect everyone. What's this? Ah. ah, no, this is nausea. Your sickly sweet sense of justice makes me want to puke. Let's go! Alrighty then, I've decided. You'll time. be my example to everyone. mouth foaming that much girl like do you have rabies or did you just put shaving cream on your face do you have something to tell us 
It's only the first save and Monomi is already dead. What? What? That demon? Or perhaps it's a weapon from the future. <laughs> Mana pieces, dreadful weapons of destruction. Then the beards of a monster. Even though a life-threatening monster appeared, not a single one of us tried to run away. Not that we didn't realize it was a monster. We were just vastly out of our elements. We'd never experienced anything like this before, and we had no idea how to deal with it. Reality was very lethal at this particular moment. <sighs> That's right! This is what I wanted. This feeling of despair, giving an example, was only totally the right call. <laughs> Unlike the exuberantly laughing Monokuma, we were the, the rest of us were completely frozen. As though we'd forgotten to breathe. <gasps> Did you just sit there, Horvath? You were powerless. No different than that. Washed away in a storm. Well, now. <laughs> now then, I believe I made my point. Just so we're clear, you guys can't defy me. If you don't want to end up as fish food, you better not disobey me. Just so you know, I don't feel mercy or sympathy. Cause I'm a bear after all. An excuse like, I got high off this tropical atmosphere. Won't work on me at all. Hmm. Also, in addition to the killing school trip, I've already updated the handbook. There, the rules for the killing school trip are written, so you better read them thoroughly. <laughs> Ignorance of the rules is no excuse either. Well, that's also true of any society, really. Now then, <laughs> enjoy the remainder of this liberating and harsh school trip. After he said his piece, Monokuma and his Monobis vanished before our eyes. In truth, I, uh, I was horribly tired. Everything was just so unreasonable. I didn't even care if this was the aftermath. Everyone else looked the same. We had this tired expression on our pale faces. That's... What just happened? Um... I won't believe. I won't believe. I just won't believe it. That's it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> It'd be one thing if we were up against a human or even an animal. <laughs> what the hell can we do against a monster like that? What's going on? It's impossible. Why is something impossible happening? It's certainly possible. Well, it's not really impossible. Those monobies do whatever they call their machines. Thus, Monokuma must also be the same. As long as they're machines, it means someone made them and is controlling them. Then... Who would be responsible? Why were we put into this unexplainable situation? Answer me! Hey, who is it? Who? Ah, uh, ha <laughs> Uh, it should be anyone. It's not like I believe it anyway. There's no way I'd believe something like that. Anyway... More importantly, are you guys hungry? Uh, let's just stop thinking about this and uh, just eat. Oh. You can eat first. Listen. No matter how confused you are, I'll tell you, uh, I am I. However, remember this. I don't know who in the world is orchestrating this, but we don't need to be cautious of those machines or even of whoever's controlling them. More than anything, we must be cautious of ourselves. Being brought to a tropical island with complete strangers in order to kill each other to escape. That creates fear in our minds, and the desire to escape that hopeless fear is our worst enemy. You tell him, Carmen. We looked around in each other's faces. Obvious from looking at their expressions. Everyone was forced to admit the truth of what he just said. We had to be honest with ourselves and admit that we had that potential. Only a student who kills a classmate can escape this island. Which means in order to escape this hopeless situation, we must sacrifice this person. However, there's a possibility that the killing may never occur, but... Even I'm no different. So, can I truly be confident 
that something like that isn't gonna happen? No, there's no way I can know for sure. In this nightmare of a situation, I don't have the confidence to say that outright. Once you're suspicious of something, you'll start to be suspicious of everything. Even of yourself. Why I felt so hopeless. That day became a day unlike any other. A day which had the more significant meaning. It was a special day. A very meaningful day full of despair. That was the beginning. Killing school trip had begun. And this tropical island was the stage. So yeah, so that's a good place to end for this episode. Um, for those who are wondering why I was not present for, or why the, I uh, had a very interesting edit with that. You, you, yeah. You, you know. If you don't know, you don't know, and if you know, you know. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I've been Dizdon, and for those of you who want a little bit of a different flavor of visual novel. You can go over to my Patreon at patreon.com slash plays and uh, subscribe over there for some exclusive content as well as, you know, having a bit... Uh, excuse me. Having a bit of a say in, you know, what happens. Thank you and uh, have a good one.